Hey everybody, Doreen here, and today we're going to be doing another episode of Would You Rather and seeing what we would rather do. Haha. <laughs> Alright, um, so yeah, let's get started. Have Would you rather have the first name refrigerator or have the first name dishwasher? Now, this has a little funny tidbit to it because... When I was in training, one of our trainers, Aaron, he just got a cat, and we were trying to convince him to name it Friggy, you know, Refrigerator, and you can nickname it Friggy. So I'm gonna go with Refrigerator. I'm gonna go with Refrigerator on that. Wow, I was just throwing that out there because of my story, but apparently a lot of people agree. I mean, dishwasher is kind of derogatory. Would you rather be able to control slash talk to machines or be able to produce an unlimited amount of electricity? Ah. Oh. So would I rather be able to control and talk to machines or be able to produce an unlimited amount of electricity? I'm gonna go with electricity because it's flashier, um, though being able to talk and control the machines would be way more productive. Really? Honestly, I the logical one would have been machines, but like electricity shooting it out, it'd just be. Would you rather slam your hand on top of a thumbtack with a half inch pin with a half inch pen. okay or shoot yourself on the top of the foot with a nail gun i'm gonna go with slam my hand on top oh that's a lot more tender oh that's a lot more tender okay let me imagine this pain ah it hurts really bad or oh oh i don't know top of the foot with a nail gun what really thumbtack hand i mean i guess it could go either way right uh would you rather bring back someone you love who died okay or bring back someone famous who died. How about someone I love? Yeah, I, I would assume that's 80%. But these 20% didn't have a lot of people they loved, apparently. Uh, would you rather live in a homeless shelter with internet access or live in an amazing home isolated from any outside contact? I feel like I've done this in a previous episode, but um, if I was to live in a homeless shelter with internet access, I mean, I doubt I'd still be able to be a YouTuber, right? Um, if I lived in an amazing home isolated from any outside contact, I'd just be like your typical rich, uh, quirky, rich guy who builds AIs in his house in the middle of the woods looking at you, do sex. Um, shit, that's a toughie. Ah, living in an amazing home isolated. Wow. Right on. That one was actually a lot closer than I expected. Okay, Batman question over here. Would you rather die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain? I think you can die a hero. I think you can live long and die a hero still. I don't think it, I don't think that quote has to apply. Um, but I'd rather, if, if that was the choice, I would rather die a hero. Have a hero complex, what can I say? Can't help it. <sighs> Would you rather be extremely unattractive? I don't know what that would be like. No, I'm just kidding. I was ugly as shit for most of my life. Uh, would you rather be extremely unattractive or be extremely attractive but have a hand that smells perpetually like poop? No, I'm gonna go with <clears throat> be extremely attractive but have a hand that perpetually smells like poop. People are more likely to ignore the poop than the fact that you're extremely unattractive. If you were having open surgery, would you rather feel no pain but be awake to see everything that happens? or be asleep during the surgery, but wake up in pain. Well, that's just describes normal surgery. <laughs> so would you rather not feel pain and be able to see everything that happens? I mean, yeah, I'll go with that one. I mean, if I don't feel it, then I'll just be like, oh, that's cool, that's my heart. Would you rather be on the Titanic or be Hitler's friend? Uh, I'm gonna say, Okay, because here's the thing, here's the thing. You could be on the Titanic and not die. There's plenty of people who did survive the Titanic. Um, on the other hand, Hitler's friend, yeah, people would hate you, but you don't have to worry about him killing you. So on one hand, you could be on the Titanic and that'd be a really fun time and you might die. Or you could be Hitler's friend and you're gonna have a very bad time, but you'll probably live. But everyone would hate you for pretty much ever. And you would be friends with like one of the, the worst humans that ever existed. I'm gonna go with Titanic. I think everyone's gonna go with Titanic on this one. Wow. That is 
dead on 50-50. Holy shit. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's wild. Huh. All right. Would you rather run 26 miles or swim five miles? So would you rather run a marathon or swim five miles? I think most people are going to go with... I think a lot of people are going to go with swim five miles. And I'm saying that because I think a lot of people are going to get in their head that it's easier to swim five miles. Um, I'm going to tell you as someone who used to swim, it's not. Um, you know, I was a swimmer in high school. And running 26 miles is a lot easier than swimming five miles. Uh, I'm going to go with run 26 miles because it's just a marathon. Wow, that's 50-52. Man. All right. Would you rather get an atomic wedgie or get a swirly? I've never had either, so I can't relate. Um, I'm gonna th I'm gonna say most people are gonna pick getting an atomic wedgie. Because um, getting a swirl, I mean, I'm gonna pick getting an atomic wedgie because getting a swirl is gross because you're in a fucking toilet. Uh, and worst case, with a wedgie, you get a little butt rash, right? Uh, I think most people are gonna pick getting an atomic wedgie too. Yeah, I was right. Would you rather know when you will die or know how you will die? This is tough. This is tough because if you know when you'll die, it's gonna suck when you get close to that point, but up until that point, you can just do whatever the fuck you want. If you know how you'll die, you don't know when. You could die at any moment, but you know, you'll know you know your cause of death. So anytime you're in anything that could inadvertently bring about that cause of death, you're gonna flip out. So I'm gonna go know when you'll die, because even though you know you're gonna die in X amount of time, uh, knowing how you will die, you'll for you'll be scared all the all the time, all the time up until you actually do die. Ow, my heart hurts a little. Uh, um, I think most people are gonna go with know how you will die, but I'm gonna go with know when you will die. Called it. Mm, bam, I know human nature, fools. Uh, on December 21st, 2012, would you rather, this is an old question, obviously, uh, have a zombie apocalypse or an alien invasion? So this is what I did on December 21st, 2012, AKA Doomsday, the rapture. Um, I sat at the mall and I blasted as best as I could on my, on my smartphone. Uh, this is the end of the world as you know it. I forget the actual title of the song, but it's like, it's the end of the world. you know, and, uh, and I did that, that that's how I spent that day. Uh, my goal hope for that was neither of these. It was a demonic invasion where I could go to a bishop and have my sword blessed and become holy in that it would be then able to kill uh, demons and then go and hunt demons. But that did not happen. So I guess I would go with the next best thing, which is an alien invasion, because there's a chance that you could get picked up by an alien and go explore the galaxy. And if there is an alien invasion, the best, the worst, at the very least, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to explore space at some point in time. So definitely going to go with alien invasion. Zombies are boring and overdone. YouTube love, would you rather meet PewDiePie or meet Vanos? I forget people know who Vanos is. He's a big YouTuber, but like you don't hear about him a lot. He's not like in the mainstream, um, but he's really fucking good. Um, but PewDiePie, I'm gonna go with PewDiePie because I really, really respect PewDiePie and not that I don't respect Vanos, but it's it's just different, you know? Would you rather wear an eye patch or have a peg leg? I mean, I'm gonna wear an eye patch, but I'm gonna keep both my eyes. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. Would you rather have a slight lisp or a slight cockeye? Uh, I think most people are going to say they'd rather have a slight lisp, and I think I'm going to agree with that. What bam? Because, I mean, people, like, you, they can't stop staring at your lazy eye. And lisps are kind of normal. Ooh, ooh. Would you rather be Dr. Zoiberg or be Dr. Kiff? Or be Kiff? Why did I say doctor? Uh, I think most people are going to go with Kiff, and I'm going to agree with that. Wow, most people want to be Zoiberg. Everyone hates Zoiberg. He doesn't do anything. He just eats trash and be just depressed. Kiff gets to fuck Amy. Like, shit, man. Come on. Get your shit together. Would you rather be a character in Lord of the Rings or be a character in Harry Potter? Uh, Lord of the Rings is cool and all. It's depressing. You're going to die in excruciating, painful death, even if you have the best case scenario, unless you're an elf. So I want to go with being Harry Potter because uh, there's some hope I could bang Ginny Weasley. Uh or Luna, Luna's pretty hot too. Um, 
yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say be a character in Harry Potter, plus magic, and I love Harry Potter. Um, I love Lord of the Rings, too, but not in the way I love Harry Potter. I mean, I got my Gryffindor robes literally, like, right there. They're, like, two feet from me, and I have a wand on my wall. So, like, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, yeah, again, thank you guys for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Later. Mm.